best meal of the day, B for breakfast, L for lunch, D for dinner. Let me know in the comment section. For me, it's D for dinner. I absolutely love dinner. But I will say this. I do eat eggs and bacon a lot for dinner. Is that, does that count as breakfast? Uh, no. Tom's shaking his head no. Let Tom know. So here's the other thing. We talk about Thanksgiving a lot here at Chat Sports. Do you guys think Thanksgiving's a little bit overrated? Because I do. I think turkey's a little bit overrated. Mashed potatoes a little bit overrated. Even though the mashed potatoes that Tom had at his wedding, they were pretty dope. They were, they were pretty dope. All right, Noel, you're bringing in this next question here. Who has a better comeback team, 49ers or Raiders? Ooh, okay. Who's going to have more wins, guys? Raiders or 49ers? I'm going to type this one in the comments section. More wins, okay. R for Raiders or type out um, Tom Downey for 49ers. What do you guys think? Who's going to have a better comeback team? Yeah, obviously, Tom. I don't want people to type 49ers. It's a Raiders show. Noah Kirk. Appreciate the picture and the glasses looking fly. Mitch, I think you hit 100K. You should do the Raiders report while tailgating on an opening night in Oakland, California. I'm guessing that's what that means. Or it's a face. I'm not quite sure. So here's the thing, Noah. I'm only at like 16.4K on the Raiders report. But we're only like a thousand away on our main chat sports channel. So I would like to be able to do this challenge sooner rather than later. Uh, so no, if you don't subscribe to our main chat sports channel, it's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. That'd make me really happy. 100 beers, six minutes on the main channel. Would you guys be there supporting me? I sure hope so. Dylan England. This next question is coming in. This is a close up. Wow. Really, really close up picture. Uh, do you think Brown is going to have a good season? Trent Brown or Antonio Brown? I think both of them are going to have a good season. I mean, Antonio Brown has had over 1,000 yards in six straight years. He's already seems like he's got a good chemistry working on with here with Derek Carr. I will say with terms of Trent Brown, though, it's kind of weird to me the fact that they paid him left tackle money to then move him to right tackle. That, to me, is a little bit concerning. It's a little bit of a head-scratcher, but I think both of those Browns are going to have good years. Richard, what you got for me, my man? Hashtag space Raiders, period. Who will lead in sacks this season? I think it's going to be Arden Key. I think Arden Key leads the Oakland Raiders in sacks this year. He had the most quarterback hits last year with 11, second place with Mohurst with 5. I'm a fantasy football guy at heart. That's how I originally started, and targets lead to receptions. Quarterback hits, I think, could potentially lead to sacks, so I'm going to go with Harden Key. But, Richard, how about this? How about you let me know what you guys think in the comment section below? Also, people are asking me about some giveaway. If you guys want to know what giveaway I'm doing, it's only for the most loyal Raiders watchers. Slide in my DMs at MitchellRens365. I can maybe hook you guys up with uh, some swag here from the Raiders report. All right, Mario, what you got for me, my man? Who you think going to win Player of the Week? Jacobs or Kyler Murray? Player of the week? That's 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 right. Uh, player of the week. How about player rookie of the year? Uh, I think Kyler Murray is the better odds because he's a quarterback. But then I say that, and a rookie running back has won rookie of the year the last two years. Dak won it in 2016 as a QB. Player of the week, though. Player of the week on the Raiders report is Josh Jacobs. So, all right, Blake, we're going to go to a question that I'm sorry to me makes a little bit more sense. Want to get a fantasy league for Chucky Heads? How about this? If anybody here who's watching the show likes fantasy football, and if you want to put together a fantasy football league for people who subscribe to the Raiders report, I'll get in it. Sound good? So find 11 people. So Blake, me, and 10 other people Somebody hit up Blake on IG, Twitter. Blake, I don't know what your IG or Twitter handle is. Hit up Blake. Be like, hey, Blake, I want to get in that fantasy league. Let's get a Raider Nation fantasy league. What you guys think? Yeah? Four Chucky heads? I'm in on it. Gary Gonzalez, what you got, my man? Uh, which Raider player would you like to get a picture with and an autograph? Any player. I must feel like I should smooth things over with Tahir Whitehead. Um, I don't know if I'd pick a player. I'd probably pick Gruden. I, I like Gruden. I also think it's kind of weird. You guys might get mad at me for this, and I'm also going to say this, and I also wear a Derek Carr jersey all the time, for a man who's basically my exact age to then wear a jersey of him. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of throws me off a little bit. Dead Raider, one of my most loyal watchers. Do you believe Ben's apology was sincere? 
Zero Chucky Heads, I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it either. I think Ben is one of the most two-faced people in the NFL, and it's why AB went out and said that he's two-faced. Like, I think it's also funny because a Steelers player who is still currently on the roster liked AB's tweet of calling Big Ben two-faced. If that doesn't explain to you what kind of person Big Ben is, then I don't really know what will. So, I am not. A, I don't believe Ben's apology is sincere whatsoever. David Gutierrez. Any info on why AB missed OTAs today? I don't have any information on it. I will do some digging. So, David and anybody else who's curious about this, hit me up after this. I am going out for drinks afterward with my cousin. So, I might get to it tomorrow morning or... You know, June 28th or something. I don't really quite know. But uh, any info on it, I'll get to you. I got a loud ring right now in my ear, and I don't know what is going on. So, Steven, this question is coming in from you. Who's going to have the most catches for the Oakland Raiders in 2019? So, last year, Jared Cook, Jalen Richard, they tied with 68. The year before that was, I believe, Michael Crabtree with 58. Am I wrong there? Somebody quote me on that. I think Antonio Brown's going to have the most catches. I project Antonio Brown to be around 85 catches this year, which might get some of you mad. Who's It's going to be a little bit of a dip, but Derek Carr has shown that he spread the love out his entire career. So I think Antonio Brown leads the team with 85 catches. I think the real question is, who's second on the team? Is it Tyrell Williams? Hunter Renfro? Sleeper pick? Is it Jalen Richard? Let me know in the comments section who's going to have the most catches for the Raiders and who's going to be second on the team with catches. Can you do that? Steven, I think it's a good question. Edward. Ah, uh, Edward, get a picture. Uh, who do you think will be the defensive player of the year in the entire NFL? It's kind of a cheap answer. I'm going to go with Aaron Donald. That guy's an absolute stud. Um, and the fact that now Adam can sues out of there, maybe you get a few more tackles, rack up those stats. Edward, what do you think? Who's going to be the the, uh, the defensive player of the year? Or do you mean just for the Raiders? Because uh, I'm not quite sure. Now, if you guys subscribe, claps to you. And if you don't subscribe, get with the program. But type S for everybody who subscribes. If you subscribe, oh my god, I had to burp. Um, I'm going to give you a shout out right now. So if you type S in the comment section on YouTube, I'm going to give you a shout out. So Alfredo, this guy subscribes. Alfredo Toms. Uh, Dylan, he Toms. Jeff Rogers, definitely Toms. Uh, John does it all, he Toms. Eldon, aka Turtle, definitely Toms. John does it all, definitely Toms. Blake, Damien, these guys are all Tom and make sure you guys subscribe to youtube.com slash Raiders Report. If you have no idea what Tomming means, then I know you don't subscribe because we say it all the time here, chat sports and on the Raiders Report. Noah Kirk, question coming in here. Mitch, tell your boss that tickets go on sale on June 3rd. I have season tickets and I hope to see you there. How about this, Noah? Hit me up, okay, on IG at MitchellRens365. I'm going to send you my phone number, and we're going to talk about details about getting me to a Raiders game. You good with that? Who else is good with that? If anybody wants to literally pay for my ticket to get to the Raiders, I'll try to be there as best as I can. We'll have a good time. I'll at least pay for drinks. You pay for my ticket, pay for my flight, I'll pay for drinks. Is that fair? I think that's pretty fair. Four Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. Make sure you guys subscribe to the number one Raiders channel on YouTube. It's the Raiders Report. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. I'm sipping on some drinks here from Oak and Eden. We're drinking on all sorts of stuff here, and I want to be able to share my experiences with you guys here on YouTube and on Facebook. And if you guys want some awesome, awesome whiskey, craft whiskey from Oak and Eden, make sure you guys slide in those DMs at MitchellRens365. It's right there on screen. And make sure you guys subscribe. But before I go, okay, before I go, we're going to loop this video through on YouTube. We're going to loop it through on Facebook, so don't go anywhere. I'll stay in the comments section. If I missed any of your questions, because there was a lot of them, slide in my DMs, okay? At MitchellRens365, and I will do my best to answer every single one of them. Make sure you guys give me a follow. Make sure you guys subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. And uh, I'm going to be back next Tuesday, because I'm live every single Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, breaking down the latest news, rumors, and chatting with Raider Nation. So until then... I'm going to see you guys later. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.